What's up guys, Johnny here, and I got another exciting video for you today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I've made $800 in profit paper trading on Webull. Now, yes, this is fake money, but there's so much to the strategy. Let's talk about it, all right? So, smash the like button if this is your first time watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, I'm up $800 in one day. Why? Well, let's look at it. So I'm going to go over my trades. I'm going to go over um, the ins and the outs, the closes, everything like that. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you what positions I have currently, as well as what positions I sold, what I'm looking at next. And it's all going to be in this video right now. So if you want to learn how to make money day trading, swing trading, then all I ask is that you hit the smash hit and smash that like button so all right right off the bat guys you know this is all raw i don't try to edit too much or anything so you know if i make some mistakes just bear with me on this all right so today's p l is 887 dollars and 51 cents net account overall i'm up 800 dollars for the day which is three percent now as you can see i started with twenty five thousand dollars and i started with that uh, on the 4th of January. So this almost marks a 30 day review on using the Robinhood app. And as you can see, I didn't do much. I gained a couple of bucks at the beginning of the days, you know, two weeks in, I only had $44, slow going. Um, at some point on this time, I really wasn't sure what to do. So I think this was like kind of dividends. And then what I did was I started investing a little more, doing some research on hot stocks, and I got up to 25235 So I got $235 in, um, you know, up, but I never locked in any profit. Now, this is a crazy part. It dipped on the 28th to almost, it looks like it was a negative three hundred dollar day and now this is the difference between what uh what say an average investor does and what other people do now i invested in these companies first off because i believed in these companies number two we're going to look at some of the charts but why did i believe in them because it showed that it was going to be a great play short term but also great news long term so if i'm down a little bit to begin with people are getting their profits locking them in that's fine if i can make a quick profit i will but with a company like say vine therapeutics you definitely want to buy when it's low buy when the people are selling when they're running or when it's just a low point and we're going to talk about vine in just a second but i had a 300 and what did it look like? $302 loss on the 28th. And I held out. And that's what this huge dip is here. I held out over the weekend. Today is Monday. And it shot up all the way to $25,803. Now, yes, this took about a, uh, let's see. Say I got into the position on the 26th. And we'll go over that now. Uh, a matter of, you know, four to five days. Okay. So that's not bad. So say a week, a week's worth of, of holding. Now, what did I trade? Let's take a look at that real quick. Let's go over to the paper account. And let's go over to, wait, where was it? This one. Okay, it's this one right here. So my positions were right here. I'm going to show you my positions. I'm going to show you everything right here. These are my positions currently. And for all of you who want to know how I made that $800, and if you want to know how, I started reading these two books. Now, I started reading Day Trading 101. Now, this book is by David Borman. And if you want this book, it's the first link in the description below. Great book. I suggest you pick it up. It's helped me out a lot with basic terminology, um, pretty simple strategies, plans, and other different uh things to where like you could recognize patterns and do risk management. Um, we're going to get into that in just a second about averaging down or locking in profit or cutting your losses. We're going to talk about all that in just a second. The other one too would be how to day trade for a living by um, Andrew Aziz. He has a PhD, but this actually shows you a little bit different perspective of day trading with actual charts and different plays that he made. So. That'll be the second link in the description below. Check it out. So 
right off the bat, guys, this is what I have right now. I have 810 shares of Vine Therapeutics. Average price for me is 235. Now I was actually down today on this company because it was only hitting 224, 225 today. I was down, I think, at 80 or 90 dollars. Last price was two dollars and fifty-eight cents. Now I've heard that Vine is supposed to go up to. Let's go ahead and look at that. Vine is supposed to go up to say I think three dollars. So if I pull this up here real quick, uh, as you can see here. We have Vine and their last uh, resistant line. I've kind of drawn it out right here. It was at two dollars and ninety nine cents. The uh, support line down here was all the way down to a dollar sixty six fifty six a dollar fifty six. So uh, it has a huge push up and a pull back down. Now I believe it's going to push up to four dollars, possibly even five dollars, but that's probably not going to be for a little bit of time. Um, well, I just have to keep playing it by ear and check it out, but I'll keep you updated on this. But yeah, that is a company that I got in on. And what's cool about that is, let me pull these other little charts up here now that I found them. Let me show you field positions. Now, I know this video is a little bit all over the place, but if you're bearing with me and you're sticking here watching, smash that like button, guys, because I really do appreciate all you guys. So, Vine. <clears throat> This is a company I'm actually holding right now. Now, Vine, I bought 410 shares. Let's see if I can expand this out. There we go. There we go. That's what we want to see. Um, okay. Vine, 410 shares on the 26th at 10.16 a.m. Then I bought another 400 shares at uh, about 3 o'clock today. Now I saw a huge potential of a dip. Now look at my average price. It was at 245. Now my average price is at 225. So with those together, I have an average price of let's check that out. Where's that at right here? Right now I have an average price on Vine of 235. So by simply adding to my position on Vine, I added an additional 400 um shares and i was able to bring it down 10 cents so now i'm in the profiting range and that's what i'm talking about when averaging down now another couple investments that i made i bought marathon here uh, 100 shares i bought at 21.32 on the 28th i sold it the very next day on the 29th 100 shares for $23.85. How much did I make on these trades? Like the stats are here if you guys want to look at the stats. Anovio buy 106 at 9.55 a share on the 25th. Sell 106 shares at 12.50 on the 29th. So that was a four day trade. And I was able to gain so much knowledge and just overall experience on it. Now, if we go to orders, these are the, see, as you can see, these are the orders I placed today, February 1st. Orders filled for, let's do the last month, because again, I just started this, this month. <clears throat> and you can't really see the very bottom ones, but let me see, there's not really a way to adjust this. But as you can see, if I go to these positions here, Mara. Oh, it's just, it's basically the same. Well, I'm trying to show you overall um, profit, and it's not going to let me do it on here. Is it right here? Hold on. Give me one second. I'm still working out the process of this performance. No, it's not that one. Man, like Weeble is definitely something you have to practice using. Um, if you know about that, let me know. Right here, performance. Okay, right here. Um, <clears throat> that's something I'm having trouble with on Weeble. Let me know, and we could do another video about it. So overall P&L, of course, looks like $769, but we're up $103 for the day. These are some dividends I've got. Um, the 21st of January, I got $7.48 from Gladstone Cap, $4 almost from Realty Company, Realty Income. 744 from AGNC and $11.20 from Whitestone Reed. Now, 
With this day trading setup of $25,000, I'm also doing some swing trades and long-term trades with dividends to kind of supplement the growth of the account. So say I'm down, you know, $200 for the day, you know, I'm not locking in profits, or maybe I did have to cut some losses and lock that in. Say I'm down $200. Well, if I get my dividend account high enough, I can get $200 and it'll compensate for the loss. So it's just growth. So like, you know, I might be up $800 in a month, but say $400 is from just dividends alone. So it's safe, secure income. On the other hand, my annual return percent right now, if I keep this up, is at 44% annual return. That is just freaking amazing. I'm already up $30 in dividends and $750 in trading PL. Now, these are my top trades right here. Novio, that I profited from that INO, three hundred and thirteen dollars in one day. Uh, Mara or Marathon Patent Group is also a group for like Bitcoin. I got two hundred and fifty-three dollars, and I think it was a four-day trade. Vine, I'm currently up one hundred and eighty-five dollars, and I have not locked in profit yet. I'm probably just going to end up buying more when it averages down, and try to become. Uh, try to double my account with this one freaking stock. Morrow's like Vine is like on fire right now. Gladstone, that forty dollars, a lot of that forty dollars is from appreciation, but also seven fifty is from dividends. And as you can see, I have some losers. Now I'm gonna show you the losers too, because that's just how I am. I'm not a, a stock guru, I'm not a professional, but what I am is I'm honest. And I just want to show to you guys trades I've made, trades I've done, and my mistakes but also my wins so wsr right now i'm down 75 dollars but they just paid me out 11 dollars and 20 cents so i have a feeling they're going to bounce back from this very soon and this is a company i could trust to pay out dividends so they pay a dividend the stock price goes down a little it recovers takes a month two months three months and then it pays another another dividend and it, and it goes back down again but if you want to check out WSR, you can leave a, you know leave a comment down below. Uh, UMC, I'm down 41. Apple Read, I'm down 40. Main Street Capital, I'm down 20. AGNC, I'm down 15. Although I just got a seven dollar stock, so I'm really only down what seven dollars. Um, so I mean that's not bad at all. And the Realty Income, I got a four dollar dividend, and I'm down 17 cents. So I'm actually positive on that. Um, Got a few other positions here. Let's see. Let's go to account. These are the uh, positions I have right now. Um, Vine, Glad, Starwood, Property, Trust, Etsy, Tesla, Realty Income, Main Street Cap, AGNC, Apple, UMC, and Whitestone. These are the kind of my focuses right now while I'm doing this. There's the quantity that I have. You know, 320 shares, 200 shares, 100 shares. And I have $8,888 in buying power. Market value currently in the market playing is 17000 So really, I made $800 off of, say, you know, I mean, not even really. Because if you look at the three stocks that I had, um, I actually, it wasn't like a crazy, a heck of a lot of money. And like on my phone, it kind of shows that, like what was invested and how much. Let me see. I think it was right here. Positions, orders, orders filled last month. I swore it gave like the average price and stuff. And it might, let's see, let me go over a little bit here. Let me bring the name down. This thing's so crazy. You really got to get used to, to using it. And I didn't use any limit prices or stop prices. I do have a filled time. Right? Filled quantities should always be the same. Average price. Order type, of course. I already know it's market. Day. Extended hours. I guess it doesn't do it. Dang. That sucks. Well, yeah, like on my phone, it kind of shows like exactly how much I invested, how much was put up. But I think the way I calculated it, it was roughly like four or $5,000 that I made 8000 So almost 25% in profit on that. Um, like even on this one, I'm up 10%. And I actually, if I had my phone, um, I screenshotted the profits. Let me grab it real quick.
Okay. I know this video is getting a little bit long, but for all of you sticking around, thank you. I appreciate your support. Uh, I appreciate everything that you guys, uh, you know, do, um, all the likes and everything that you have. If you're still watching, let me pull this up. So it looks like I might have saved two of them. Mara, it was a market value, $2,445. I was up 15% when I sold it for a profit of $313. So a 15% profit on Mara and a 30% profit on INO stock. Now that was $1,300 in market value. Uh, total cost was only 1000 and uh, I made a $300 profit on that company right there. Pretty, pretty amazing. Um, so right there, that's $600 that I was able to lock in in one day, plus the 200 I made up with Vine Therapeutics, which gives me $803 for the day. Guys, I appreciate all your support. This definitely marks day 30 of my videos. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do videos every single day, but I'm going to do videos like this as much as possible. And that completes the challenge. All the days are done. All I got to do is mark this one off. Boom. All 30 videos are complete. There's actually videos on here I didn't even do because I had subscribers ask me to do stock review videos and you know how stocks are hot news today is pretty much old news tomorrow so I had to get those videos out as fast as possible so I have a lot more videos coming up um, if you guys want to check them out definitely do that I got things on like how to manage small accounts how to grow small accounts the difference between day trading swing trading um, higher market cap like blue chip stocks the lower end ones like penny stocks I do all that stuff I love it can't wait to do more of it and I appreciate all your support so guys remember never trading something you don't know and smash that like button thanks and have a great day